A group of anti-corruption fights in Nigeria has challenged the media group covering corruption and anti-corruption agencies to support the implementation of Nigeria Anti-Corruption Performance Public Reporting Project funded by Mark Otto Foundation and implemented by Center for Media Policy and Accountability, CMPA. The Executive Director, Center for Media Policy and Accountability, said the aim of meeting with the media group was to harmonize with the media for proper anti-corruption reporting. Mm, essentially, we, we, we are meeting with uh, journalists that are reporting uh, around corruption, that are reporting on uh, corruption issues and anti-corruption agencies uh, particularly. Our reason for meeting with them is to introduce this project to them uh, because they are also critical uh, stakeholders as part of this project. And the project itself is about trying to see how all of us in the uh, Nigeria anti-corruption community can have a harmonized way of reporting uh, corruption and anti-corruption performance. What do I mean by that? I mean that uh, if you look at anti-corruption agencies, uh, 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 there, they are fighting corruption, but they are not the only ones who are fighting corruption in the country. Civil society organizations are there, also helping to fight corruption. Uh, journalists are also there, helping to fight corruption. Some are even uh, are global, you know, organizations like Global Integrity, organizations like uh, uh, Transparency International, all of these bodies have something to do with corruption in Nigeria, one way or another. So we want to bring all of these different groups together together with the anti-corruption agencies as well, so that we can agree on issues on how to report anti-corruption activities and their performance. So if uh, what EFCC are doing, what ICPC are doing, what uh, uh, these other agencies, Code of Conduct Bureau are doing, but also what the anti-corruption uh, civil society organizations are doing, we want to find a harmonized and standardized way of knowing how much anti-corruption work is going in Nigeria at any given time. The Director of Communication, Outreach and Advocacy, Rahim Uba, states the project objectives. It's uh, one aspect of uh, the NAPRI project. Uh, the NAPRI project is a MACADA funded project with a two year span from 2023 to 2024. And uh, it has three specific objectives. One is uh, advocacy, and uh, today's event is an advocacy with uh, reporters that we have mapped out who are covering corruption in Nigeria. So they are considered significant stakeholders, and uh, we want to partner with them and see how they can support the project, uh, not only the implementation of the project, but how to cement a uh, relationship with uh, reporters and members of the press uh, in terms of uh, reporting corruption and other media engagements in Nigeria. Media is an important aspect and uh, it, has an, uh, it has a key role to play in terms of informing, educating and entertaining members of the public. It is in view of this that uh, this advocacy is holding today so that uh, we can highlight the significance of the NAPRI project and uh, what we are doing at the uh, uh, Center for Media Policy and Accountability. Media is one key aspect of uh, the organization. So parties like this are very significant towards the sustenance of our organization. Joseph Moses reporting.